According to the internet, essentially all you need from this harness, unless you have, uh, uh, what's it called, um, the fader on the actual stereo and not on the little dial, like this one here, Let's see if I have it, yeah, like this one here, then you would wire it up using these, but since I don't have that, I just have it on this knob, it's already wired up here, um, the only thing you'll need is the yellow wire and the blue wire, and that basically goes from yellow to the white wire, solid white, and then blue to the solid gray. And that's pretty self-explanatory there. The other one you use, you have to use every single one of them. Um, red, obviously being power, goes to the purple gray over here. The ground black on the new head unit is going to both uh, brown wires, brown black wires. The yellow, the yellow is for the illumination, so the light on the actual stereo. That one goes to the green and red. And then the blue. The blue goes to both white wires. This basically controls your uh, antenna. This for radio, obviously. And uh, yeah, but I'll leave the full list down below if you guys didn't catch that or don't understand with full colors and everything. Just so it'll make it easier for the next person. But now that everything's wired up at least according to how it's supposed to be let's go ahead and plug in the head unit and see if it turns on so i haven't turned the the switch yet so this should be powered off Let's go ahead and just Okay Looks like I hit the wipers there Cool So looks like we got power I'm more curious to see if the rest of it is working like it's supposed to though, more than anything. Alright, we'll rest it there, and let's go ahead and try the Bluetooth. Okay, so it looks like uh, the code is 1234, pretty standard, I think. And that should be good. Let's go ahead and try playing some uh, some YouTube safe music. So we'll try this again. You have to have this plugged in for all of them to work. So all right.
so everything works as it should um with that being said it does sound good but i think i can make it sound a little bit better i am planning on getting a set of speakers and maybe a sub just to make the sound a little bit better but everything overall is really nice i like the stereo i like the oem look and the bluetooth capability and stereo and everything uh super nice definitely recommend it like i said i'll leave the complete wiring schematic down below uh, colors and everything uh just because i had to dig through a, a, a few forums just to find it but i think it'll make it easier for the next person especially on this uh upgraded unit but yeah looks like it's uh pretty good let's go ahead and reassemble the whole thing and we should be done there we have it um head units in i really like the oem plus look um i think it looks fitting the only thing that i don't like is that it sticks out a little bit but i think i can get that to fit a little f more flush but honestly at that point it's just me nitpicking because it, it really looks amazing um functions great everything works great um so yeah honestly definitely recommend you guys pick one up before these are gone because as i said before they have been discontinued so um, whatever's out there is out there and that's about it they are not making any more and this is about it but definitely recommend it if you guys are trying to keep that oem look um, obviously you know you have some aftermarket head units that can probably perform better than this but in all honesty for keeping the oem look and still functioning like in modern like a modern day stereo this is honestly you, you really can't beat it and it's a quality product so yep thanks for tuning in guys and i'll see you guys on the next one